I'm Kerry Brenner and I'm a laser plasma physicist at the Brotherford Atherton Laboratory. So I see myself as involved in, in research, innovation and communication. So I work in the lab with the, the powerful lasers. I work on experiments in teams of about 10 or so. The rest of my time is spent analysing that data, but also acting as an external role as well. I actually go and, and talk to industry a lot and also other colleagues and collaborators across different disciplines. I learn from them how we can develop the technology in plasma physics, what it's needed for, um, and perhaps that could help steer the direction of my own research. And then also I get to do great things like this, which is come to talk to physicists and uh, non-physicists as a communicator. I'm going to say that the physics is a great A-level to have because it enables you to apply to thousands of careers and apply to hundreds of degree courses. Physics is a great demonstrator of your ability, your skill set and your problem solving skills and, and those are highly valuable to any employer. In lower sixth, actually in year 12, I started off doing maths and physics and economics and chemistry. Um, but by the time I got to my second year, I actually dropped chemistry, so I only did a, a, um, a AS. From, from school until university, um, the physics university course really appealed to me just because of, of the kind of openness in, in the, in the skill set that I was going to acquire. I wanted to keep as many doors open as possible in terms of future career options, and physics definitely enabled me to keep all of those doors open and at the same time deepen my understanding and my knowledge of the physics of the A-level that I so enjoyed. Advice for A-levels, um, I would definitely start off with the subjects that you really enjoy, the lessons that you really look forward to going to, then I guess the next thing to look at is what you're, you're best at, where your strengths are. And again, if you are one of those who is, is lucky to be good at all subjects, uh, I, would, I would tend to look at combinations which demonstrate your ability. So whether that be a combination of logical and problem solving with those with the more creative and open-minded uh, subjects, or perhaps you're dead set on a, on a career that uses applied and logical skills, then having a combination of physics and maths and chemistry or engineering and so on is a really nice combination that will not only guide you towards a job that will use those skills but perhaps lead you to other jobs you never even thought that you could do in the first place. Okay. <laughs>